And today I wanted to try to simplify the Evo 64, 63 uh, strokers that are available. I've been asked a few questions. I myself, when I didn't know, was scouring the internet about, you know, what's what. How do you get 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, 2.4? What are the different uh, advantages? What's the rod height, uh, the, the crank uh, sizing, pistons, etc. So it was a little bit difficult for me to get all those answers, especially like some of the odd ones, like the 2.2 long rods and whatnot. But there's enough information if you dig harder. So I thought that I'd make a video, try to explain to everyone so people don't have to basically go through what I went through. Um, so let's start with the blocks itself. There are two variations of the Evo motors. Well, it's actually one, but um, we do tend to use the 64 and the 63. So I will cover both. So this is the 64 motor. They're commonly found in uh, like 990 clips, uh, a few other uh, cars, I forget the top of my head. I think a lot has them. Uh, but there generally comes in 2.4 liter form uh, from factory and this is a good fit like this will literally fit with an Evo head so people who want to do strokers they use this um, and this is a 63 motor this is they're both 7 volt um, this is a 63 motor this is the stock motor that comes in all Evos well Evo 8 uh, 1 through uh, 9 and this is what you would find in the all-wheel drive uh, Evos 1 through 9 in both USDM, JDM, everywhere. And this is called the 4G63. So this is the 4G64, 4G63. Some of the differences to start with so everything makes sense. The 4G64, which does not come in Evos, it has a taller deck height. What it literally means is from here to here, it's taller right, 64, 4G64 is taller by six millimeters. So this sits higher than this motor, about six millimeters higher. The other thing is on stock, this comes with 100 millimeter crank, 100 millimeter crank. And this also comes with 150 millimeter rods. So which basically produces uh, with the 100 millimeter crank, 4G64, with all the stuff stock, it's a 2.4 liter. When you put the 4G64 with the Evo 89 head, it is a 2.4 liter stroker. It has 100 millimeter uh, crank, 150 millimeter rods. You put this crank, the 100 millimeter crank, that's found in the 4G64, and you put it into this motor, which is six millimeters shorter, it becomes a 2.3 liter. What? Three liter, 2.3 liter. One of the other differences between these two blocks is the bore size. This is a 86.5, correct me if I'm wrong, 86.5 and this one stock comes from it comes as an 85 millimeter so the combustion chamber on the head is usually well it's smaller uh, than the bore size itself this is why you hear oh there's a uh, ceiling issue head gasket blows when you do a evo 8 head on a, on a 4g64 4, 4 uh, it's mostly because of that um, but either way, that's one of the other differences. This one doesn't have oil scorter as well. This one does. Um, so you can see the, because the bore is larger, the, the walls are thinner compared to the 4G60. This is a much stronger block. Most people that run over a thousand horsepower are using the, this block. So let's move on. So what are some rod choices that you have for the 4G64, um, you can actually put a long rod, which basically means you can have, instead of 150 millimeter that it comes with, you can actually do 156, you can actually do 1, 
159. And you can even do 162 millimeter rods. Um, how that works is you wouldn't be able to do that with a 100 millimeter crank because this would be too much. And I'm gonna show you why. So the stroke for a, a crank is basically how much the piston is moving up and down. So 100 millimeter literally means uh, the difference between 8 and 100 is what, like 12? So it's moving both sides, down and up. It's moving six millimeters higher, which is half of 12, and six millimeters lower than the 88 millimeter. So if you do a long rod, that difference has to be made up somewhere. So this is called a wrist pin. This height compared to the top is moved up. So if it's the six millimeter up difference, you wanna run a 156 millimeter, that's six millimeter difference, you would have to make that difference up in this, in the wrist pin. This will have to be moved up uh, six millimeters in order for you to fit a 156 millimeter rod. So that will get you a long rod, the 156 millimeter. That is all possible with the 100 millimeter crank um, and uh, the 64 mower. Now, if we move to a different stroke, which is 94, different stroke, uh, no pun intended, 94 millimeter, uh, which has to be custom. I don't think there's a car that has a 94 that DSM makes, I'm sorry, uh, Mitsubishi makes. So a, a 94 millimeter crank on a 64 block will produce a 2.2 to 2.3 liter. The reason why there's a variance is because you know, I, I'm, I haven't done the exact math, but it's not exactly 2.2 and it's not exactly 2.3. It's, it's a fraction difference. People usually round it off. So you're getting a midpoint stroker, uh, 94 millimeter, and the displacement is 2.3 and 2.2. Same uh, crank in this motor with the, you know, uh, six millimeter less deck height and 85 millimeter bore, you're going to get 2.2. Um, and this is using a 94 crank. Now, the rod differences. This one obviously gives you more play. You can actually run 156 with the stock uh, or stock height pistons, the wrist pins. You can run uh, 159. You can even run 162, depends on how you move it up. I think CP is the only one that'll cluster make your pistons for this much of uh, wrist pins moved up. So you just have to do the math, stroke, half up, half down, uh, whatever you need to, compared to the stock, whatever you need to move up the wrist pins. The 63 motor, however, and I'm gonna come back to this. The 2.2 is very popular, everybody wants this, it's the best of both worlds. You can rev this out to 9,000 RPM, even higher. Um, and you get best of both, but you get the rev of a 2.0, you also get uh, the, a little bit more displacement. It's very torquey motor, revs very well. There are, I believe, three rod options for this. The three uh, rod options here, I'm gonna put this here. Uh, 156, 159, and 162, okay? For this is, I think, uh, to be safe, 150 and 156. Let's not even talk about the one. You could do 159, but I, I wouldn't recommend it. So to be on the safe side. Anybody who feels that I'm saying anything wrong, please correct me. Feel free to leave a, a message. So on this, we have some options. We have 150 millimeter in order for you to get 150 millimeter with the stock motor, well, stock block, 63 block, um, and the displacement being um, 194, you would basically use a, use a piston where its wrist pins would moved up three millimeters because that would be the difference. 94 to 88 is how much is a six. So three millimeters, if you want to use a 150 millimeter rod. So three millimeters uh, wrist pin moves up. 
if you go with 156 millimeter, and you can, I have a couple of motors that we did with that, 156 millimeter rod with a wrist pin that's moved up nine millimeters. That's custom made. I think CP is the only one that makes it that way. That way you will be, rod ratio will be very good. Um, and you can still rev very, very high. It's closer to the 2.0 when you do that. Um, so the, the best way to do it is CP Pistons, call them up. Hey, I'm using 156 millimeter rod. The wrist pin has to be moved up nine millimeters. They'll tell you which part it is and you can actually do it with a 94 millimeter crank. English, which my favorite, actually has aluminum rod that's 153 millimeters. They call it short long rod. This one you would actually move up the wrist pins um, six millimeters. So if you go back here, the six millimeter wrist pins are your stroke or 2.3 stroker uh, size wrist pin moved up size pistons. You can actually use these on this with the 53 millimeter rod and you will get your 2.0, 2.2, and you will still rev high 9,900. So, which brings us to this, the 2.3 liter. The 2.3 liter is actually, you can only do 150 millimeter rods and you would obviously have to move up the wrist pins uh, six millimeters and Wiseco makes them, uh, everybody makes them actually. Um, I guess you can move up, you know, the nine millimeter piston that you would use for this one to get the 156. You could use it on, on, on this and move up the wrist pins a little bit, get a little bit of rod, uh, ratio better, but I don't think that's worth it. Um, these get very touchy, I think, because of the, the wrist pins are actually sitting in the oil scraper and oil, uh, ring. So you don't want to basically mess with that. You might have issues. Um, I think uh, English actually, I read somewhere that they did it and they didn't like what it does at high revs um, to these nine millimeter moved up wrist pins. So just be wary. Now, what if we put the 88 millimeter? Now, 88 millimeter rods are stock rod, I'm sorry, 88 millimeter crank is stock crank for the Evo, the 4G63. What would happen if we put this crank, the stock crank, in this motor because we talked about what would happen if we use a 100 millimeter motor on this we get the 2.3 so the reverse if you use this crank on this motor uh the 4064 you would get 2.1 now this has a wide range of uh, rods you can use uh, and it revs extremely high um, a lot of people use them for drag racing they seal the block and they Fill the block and just basically use it for drag racing, high rev, 10,000, 10,000 RPM. So you could still, you know, typically people use 156 millimeter rods on this. You could still do that. You could go with 162 as well. Uh, and obviously 159 if you get custom made aluminum rods. If you use this run on the stock, obviously you have a 2.0. Couple of variants in the 2.0, it comes with the 156 millimeter rods. I'm sorry, 150 millimeter rods. A lot of people go with uh, long rods, they call it, 156 millimeter, where you would use this piston, the 2.3 pistons, with 88 millimeter, with 156 millimeter rods, and you would get very long rods. I think it's like uh, 1.7 uh, rod to stroke ratio or something that allows you to rev really, really high. Um, and that's very common. That's what they call a long rod. I mean, you hear long rod, this is what they're referring to. So I know it looks gibberish, but I hope I was able to enlighten uh, some people or maybe explain something that you were wondering about. My favorite out of this, believe it or not, is the 88 millimeter with the stock uh, size rods um, or the 80, I'm sorry, with the 4063 with the 94 millimeter and the 153 millimeter aluminum rods. Now, if you want to do it on the street, I would just go straight with the 150 millimeter rod and just move up the wrist pins a little bit just to compensate for that. 
but any of the vendors, map, what you know, the common vendors that we use uh, can help you out with this. And that's basically it. I hope I have been helpful. Um, if I haven't, I'm sorry. If you have any questions, if I made any mistakes, please let me know. Let me show you what else we're working on at Blueprint. So remember that Evo X, well, I don't know if you remember, I used that motor to compare. We actually got everything as, ready to assemble. This is the sleeved block by Darton, uh, step decked. Uh, we're using aluminum rods with high compression pistons um, and a stock crank. There are variants to this. We will cover that on a different uh, video. But yeah, it's coming along. We're trying to push a little bit over a thousand. The guy's crazy. He wants to race on the street with it. Um, but again, uh, this is going to be an awesome project. And I hope uh, it goes well. Stay tuned.